protesters interrupt a scheduled speech by Stockton City Council members. Well, Michael Tubbs speaking out about Anthony Silva for the very first time since Silva's arrest. Silva, who is the mayor of Stockton, is accused of giving alcohol to minors and recording a game of strip poker with several teenagers in his room while at a youth camp. CBS 13's Drew Balea has Tubbs' remarks and how the Silva campaign manager is responding tonight. Drew? That's exactly right. Shocked, pleased, and even proud of what took place on the City Hall steps today. That is what I'm being told by Stephen Bohorkas. He is the campaign manager of Mayor Anthony Silva, and he says that today's interruptions prove that there is still support for the embattled mayor. We have a lot of work to do to move this community forward. Anthony Silva's November opponent, Michael Tubbs, spoke about the city's future and never mentioned the mayor's name. The vast majority of the council is still focused on doing the people's business. Others shouted it. A small group that doesn't speak to the vast majority of Stocktonians who voted for me in the primaries. But it just irritates me because of the hypocrisy. The protesters brought up Tubbs skeletons. He was arrested for DUI back in 2014 and pled no contest. It's a clear uh, political uh, uh, character assassination. That's what this whole thing really is from beginning to end. Silva's campaign manager was pleased with the interruption. I think you're going to see a huge difference in the campaign. I think you're going to you know, see a lot more people coming out and supporting Mayor Silva. In January, Stephen Bohorkas was brought on to run Silva's campaign. Bohorkas says that Silva has done great things for the community and accused his November challenger of stealing credit. I see she's taken a lot of credit for Anthony's work, and that's just not right. Bohorka says Silva will be vindicated soon. He says the recent allegations of misconduct around minors at the mayor's youth camp are coming to light at a questionable time. He's been doing this for 15 years. Now there's a problem three months before the election. That's suspicious. So today's interruptions were carried out by a handful of people outside of the city hall, on the city hall steps. Tomorrow, there's going to be a Stockton City Council meeting. Many of those people likely going to show up again during the public comments section of the meeting. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say. Also, it'll be the first time that Silva and Tubbs are in the same room, room together since Silva's arrest. If there are fireworks here, it'll be no surprise at all, Drew. Thanks very much. Live for us tonight in Stockton.